Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene is very concerned about a particular issue and she wants to make sure that you are as well. Ladies and gentlemen, straight people are disappearing. Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene's whole brand is going out and saying outrageous stuff. So I try not to do too many segments covering her crazy ideas and her crazy statements because I could do an entire show just about those. But sometimes things are just too much and I have to talk about it. So what we're looking at today is a clip of Marjorie Taylor Greene saying that they want you to believe that it's only a coincidence that the percentages of people identifying as LGBTQ are going up. But no, and then she kind of, I guess is alluding to the fact that it's something being done that's causing people to become LGBTQ. And then she ends her statement with saying, within a few generations, everyone's gonna be LGBTQ, no one's gonna be straight. All right, so before we talk too much about that statement, let's go ahead and watch this clip. They just want you to think that all of a sudden the entire population uh, is steadily turning gay or turning trans. Just generation, generation. Probably in about four or five generations, no one will be straight anymore. Everyone will be either gay or trans or non-conforming or whatever the list of 50 or 60 different options there are. Marjorie, Marjorie, Marjorie. Oh, goodness. So let's start off with identifying what is it that she's talking about right here? Well, right now in the United States, 5.6% of Americans identify as LGBTQ. So notably, that's a very small percentage of the United States, less than 6%. But she may be talking about the fact that it has gone up. So looking at this graphic that shows from 2012 to 2020, how the percentages have gone up in the amount of people identifying as LGBTQ. So in 2012, it was 3.5, then it went up to 3.6, and then on and on it went until 2020, where it was 5.6. Now, before we talk about why that might be, let's just first identify how ridiculous it is that she's trying to allude to the fact, because she started her sentence with, they want you to believe that just more and more people are identifying as this or more and more people are genuinely this. So if you're using the phrasing, they want you to believe that, obviously you're trying to allude to some other scheme that's happening in the darkness. And why there would be any goal by anybody to force people to identify as LGBTQ makes no sense. I mean, the core, most pure, unfiltered version of all the LGBTQ activism comes down to let people be who they are don't get all up in other people's business about their identity their lifestyle and then do your absolute best to be supportive of people who live in different ways than you or identify in different ways than you it really is about freedom it's about be who you want to be and don't get all up in other people's business for being who they want to be as long as it's not harming anybody and so the idea that the lgbtq agenda would be trying to get more people who aren't gay to become gay or aren't trans become trans just wouldn't make any sense the whole idea behind being proud of who you are is it genuinely being you and the whole idea behind the actual lgbtq agenda if you want to call it that is just conveying the idea to all of society that hey let other people be who they want to be you can be who you want to be no pressure live life try to be happy it really isn't that complicated so that's just so backwards the fact that she would try to promote this conspiracy that there's something going on where lgbtq people and uh, allies of lgbtq people are trying to make everyone gay okay whatever now let's get to obviously in real life the percentages are going up of the amount of people identifying as lgbtq and think about we just saw 2012 to 2020 how much has that gone up since the 1980s or even before that? So why might that be? And what I wanna do, because I really think critical thinking is an important thing. I'm just gonna sit here. I'm gonna look at the camera. We're gonna play a little music and you're gonna think for a second and try to answer why would the percentage of people identifying publicly in a poll as LGBTQ be going up? One of your options is Marjorie Taylor Greene's that there's something that's making people LGBTQ, or you can come up with a different response. We're just going to take a second to think about that. Ready, go. So I hope we've all come 
to the same conclusion. If you live in a society where being a certain identity is heavily, heavily stigmatized to the point where people are attacked physically for it, and you live in a world where literally being that identity can get you stoned or killed in other ways, it makes logical sense that as you get away from that and more of your society accepts people who are of that identity group, more people will stop hiding it. Like, let's just use an example. There's still countries in 2022 that in them you'll get killed if you are gay publicly. So how many people in that country do you think are actually gay? compared to how many would say that they're gay. Does that make sense? Like you have to, even if you're really conservative, admit there's probably a lot of people who don't tell anyone that they're gay, but they are gay. So that's an extreme example that everyone can understand. Yeah, you're gonna have a really low percentage of people who identify as something if they know they could get killed for it. But that applies to less extreme examples where not too long ago, it was brutal living as a gay person or living as a trans person and obviously it still is brutal in many ways for many people now but it was much worse in the past well as that gets better and as we get more progressive and people understand that hey i love screaming about us being a free country maybe i should stop hating people so much for expressing their freedom by being who they want to be then you'll have more people who feel comfortable in that more progressive world or more progressive country, more progressive culture, saying their actual truth and identifying as who they actually are. So easy to understand. And that's why I wanted to do the little pause moment just to illustrate how simple of a concept this is. Just take three seconds, whether you're left, right, center, whatever, and think, okay, either there's a massive plot to make people gay, bisexual, lesbian, trans, queer, whatever, or just by having more LGBTQ conversations in the public discourse, that's making people gay. Or a much simpler explanation, there's always been a similar percentage of people who are LGBTQ, but they just weren't able to show that part of themselves to the public because they knew it was gonna make life a lot harder. And so while it's hard to see in the moment because things can look bad you know, when you're in the middle of it, we actually have gotten a lot better on these issues over the last few decades. And so now people who were always gonna be LGBTQ, but in this current moment can feel more comfortable to tell the world that, whereas a few decades ago, they wouldn't have, or just a few years ago, honestly. So what do I think it's gonna happen? Is it just this graph that's gonna go up and up and up and up and up and up until like Marjorie Taylor Greene said, every single person in the country is LGBTQ and there's no straight people? I genuinely believe in humans, there's a equilibrium level of people who are LGBTQ, and that could go up and down just pure randomly, but there's a set number, I don't know exactly what it is, and it's gonna go up and up until it hits that number and until everyone is completely comfortable identifying as who they actually are, and then that'll be it. And let me just say as like a personal anecdote, honestly, and I think this is the experience of tons of gay people, unless you grow up in an insanely progressive community, I don't just mean your parents, I mean everyone around you is progressive, there's gonna be a certain moment when you're crystal clear of who you are, but you would prefer to keep it hidden. And let me tell you, that was the case for me. For a long time, I knew exactly who I was, but I was just like, hey, life's gonna be easier if I keep this little thing shoved away where no one sees it. And I had an amazing family around me who was gonna be supportive, I knew that. It was just based on the community that I was in where it sounded easier to completely hide something that I was 100% was true about myself than to have to deal with whatever the repercussions were gonna be of letting that be known. Now, obviously I changed my mind on that, of course, told everyone, but you can totally imagine a world where I didn't change my mind because the country as a whole and the broader community wasn't as supportive. And I just decided, okay, you know what? I'd rather just suffer through it the rest of my life and not have to tell people this. Like that's what we're talking about could very easily be the reason that the percentages were at such a low level and now are going up. So I wanna say one last thing before we end this. I wanna speak directly to anyone who finds themselves having negative views towards LGBTQ people. And let's just use the example of 
gay. I promise you, there is just an amount of people who are gay. All that your hate and disapproval is gonna do is keep them from telling people that. It's gonna make their life so much more difficult. It's not gonna make them less gay. It's not gonna make them enjoy their life pretending to be straight. It's just gonna make their life harder so that you feel like there's less gay people in the world. I genuinely cannot imagine what it would have felt like if I had parents who were constantly telling me that being gay is so bad and blah, 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 blah. And I would not accept if I had a son who was that, which tons of my friends, that was their experience. I literally don't know what I, that would have been a living hell. And again, my parents were amazing and yet still I was so afraid. If they weren't supportive, the point I'm trying to make is it wouldn't have been for me. They wouldn't have been saying, we want to instill these values in you so that you have a good life. No, all it would have been for is them so that I don't have to grapple with having a gay son. That's what it would have been for. And luckily I didn't have to deal with any of that, but there's countless LGBTQ people who do have to deal with that. They know the second that they tell their closest family members who they are, everything is going to change. Can you imagine that? So I beg you, even if you genuinely believe that being any of the, these identities is sinful, try to just wow people with your ability to love through it. If I'm not mistaken, there's a lot of sins in the Bible and people are constantly doing them and no one puts any attention on it. This particular issue gets so much focus. And so my ask to you is even if you do believe in your heart of hearts that being gay is wrong or being trans is wrong, it's not gonna change anyone for you to be constantly making your disapproval known. So instead, just allow yourself to be overcome with compassion and love and that will improve all of the people's lives around you that you care about. And then, of course, because this video is about Marjorie Taylor Greene, I'll speak to her directly, you crazy.